It was the Grim Reaper of the 19th century, but there was little concern when cholera first appeared in France. The upper echelons of society believed it only infected the poor, the dirty and the uneducated. So convinced was Prime Minister Casimir Perrier that he visited patients in hospital in April 1832. When he himself died of cholera a few weeks later, it became clear that no one was safe. The symptoms of cholera include intense diarrhoea and vomiting. The dehydration is so bad that within two days you begin to look like a corpse. All the testimonies describe a living corpse with sunken eyes, shriveled skin, a deathly pallor with bluish patches under the skin, hence the nickname Blue Death. The Blue Death spreads most easily in big cities with unsanitary drainage systems. Endemic around India's Ganges Delta for several centuries, it reached Russia in 1830 and then Western Europe. Irish immigrants carried it to America, where it also caused major damage. By the end of the century, more than a million people had been killed. There are two phenomena that explain how this disease from around the Ganges arrived in Europe. The demographic increases in cities with bad hygiene conditions and increased mobility of people. Today, the illness still thrives in countries with poor sewage treatment. Recently, Zimbabwe, Mozambique and Haiti were hit by serious cholera outbreaks.